Well, you probably have a few more gifts to buy before your Christmas shopping is completely finished. Yes, I do. One mm -hmm. easy way to do that and help a good cause is with charitable gift catalogs. CBS2 contributor Lisa Dietlin, a philanthropic advisor, is here to help us sort out the hundreds of options and the very first question is, how do I find one of these right. catalogs? Well, I'm surprised you didn't get one in the mail. Okay. <laughs> but some of mm -hmm. us need just to simply go back through the catalogs we already have and the mm -hmm. catalogs we've received. Mm -hmm. The second is to go online. Most of your charities and those charities that you care about actually do have it online, mm -hmm. and you click when you go right to the home page. If not that, look around your neighborhood. A lot of kids are expected at this time of year to sell products to support their schools. So if you've got some young people in your family or your neighborhood, I would say suggest you talk to them because they're probably trying to sell some chocolate or cookie yeah, dough. Yeah, I was going to say candy <laughs> bars. Absolutely. <laughs> that, that's that's what they do, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, how does this really work? How does it benefit someone? And also, I guess the gift of giving is a selfish benefit too, right? <laughs> it is. Um, you can support your favorite charity mm -hmm. by selecting to purchase a product. UNICEF, for instance, you know, mm -hmm. does holiday cards, does holiday gifts, mm -hmm. and it gives um, a lot of options in the back, picture frames and different ideas that if you really supported this organization, you could purchase a gift for a family, friend, or member, and then also support your charitable organization. Understand there are only three ways that charities can raise money mm -hmm. besides government funding, mm -hmm. and one of them is product and services, selling those mm -hmm. items to raise money for their mission. The one thing I think that's important to note is these aren't all traditional gifts or what uh -oh. you would consider mm -mm. traditional gifts. Would you mind elaborating on that just a little well, bit? Well, as my staff laughed this week, uh -huh. they said, you really can buy a cow for somebody, Lisa? <laughs> I said, absolutely, you can. And what happens is organizations like Heifer International, World Vision, others are um, indicating that people in third world and developing countries mm -hmm. need help. So you go online, and for those hard to buy for people, yeah. you purchase a cow, chickens that produce eggs and milk mm -hmm. that both the family can use and then sell as a way to make income and better their lives. So you're really killing two birds with one stone there, so Truly. to speak. Truly, really a gift that keeps on giving. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, it's a gift that now, keeps is, on giving. Is it too late to do something like that? Because we're approaching the 16th already. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the no. busiest mailing day right. too tomorrow. Right, right. It isn't too late. I mean, some of them, of uh, the organizations, obviously it will be. I would suggest this afternoon you let your fingers do the walking, mm -hmm. go to the internet, check out when their last mailing dates are. But those organizations that are the non-traditional gifts, the chickens and the mm -hmm. cows, right. uh, you can do that any time of the year. Remember, it's just not at the holiday time that people need help. Yeah. A lot of these mm -hmm. organizations you can purchase gifts all year long. Have to be in the giving spirit yes, all year long. Absolutely. Lisa Dietland, thanks for joining us Thank this morning, you. especially Thank for you. coming in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is quite the storm. <laughs> there is more advice on our website. Check out Lisa's top five tips by logging onto our website at cbs2chicago.com. Just click on morning news. Mm -hmm.